folks, welcome back to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, this video is going to be a graduation for nuke number 18. Uh, nuke number 18 is actually a split from hive number three right there. We found uh, swarm cells in number three and we created that split with five frames and a swarm cell in there. And that was about a month ago. I have found a queen in there and she is laying. They're doing really good. They're starting to build a little bit of burr comb in the top. So uh, we need to go ahead and get them expanded into a 10 frame deep box. And I've got five frames that I had up at the house. I brought down to put in there with them and a, and a box here. So uh, let's get in there and uh, let's, let's get this hive graduated. Okay, these two nukes here were created about the same time. Actually, they the same day. They both came from hive number three. This one had a tiny queen in it. It was like itty bitty, the smallest queen I've ever seen. I've not seen her since then, and uh, I put a frame of eggs in here, and they didn't pull down a queen a supersedure emergency queen off those eggs. So I don't know if my eggs weren't old enough or they're queen right, but I went all through here. I still didn't find a queen. So uh, we're gonna wait a while longer on this one and see what we need to do with it. This one uh, is booming. It needs, it needs put into a bigger hive and that's what we're gonna do right now. So uh, I keep my 10 frame hardware underneath the uh, telescoping cover. So when I'm ready to go up or down in size, it's all right here and this cover protects the bottom board when it's like that. So let's get in here and get these bees expanded. Okay, anytime you see this type of comb sticking up means they're running out of space probably. Okay, see they're building comb up here on tops of the frames now. Make sure that queen's not up here. So uh, I need to get my hive stand and put behind me so I can start uh, putting these frames into the big box. Okay, so I've got this hive body sitting here. There's no bottom on it yet. I'm just gonna transfer frames and I'm gonna keep them in the same order that they are in this nuke. First, I'm gonna scrape off this burr comb. So this frame you can see, it's mostly drawn out now. And they're filling it up with nectar. Queen's actually laying on this frame here. And this one, she's laying on the outside. That's pretty rare. Maybe not in a nuke, but they don't often lay on the last frame on the outside. That means they're, it's a full hive and it's ready to expand. So this is a brand new queen. We should probably mark her if we see her. 
she's laid all that up total brood frame all capped just about yeah man look at that So I'm going to put space between that brood. I'm going to put an empty frame between there. So here's a nice empty frame with some wax just started to be drawn out on both sides. So we'll put that between those. Another strong frame of brood, all capped off. Both sides. So we're gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna offset it, and I'm gonna put a frame between them. Man, here's another huge, totally laid out frame. Both sides. So again, I'm gonna put another frame between those. I wish I would have seen that queen. Here she is, out here on the edge. Here she is right here. She's a good looking queen, nice and big. Tell you what, since I know where she's at, I'm just gonna set her back in the nuke for now. No chance of losing her out the bottom where that bottom board's missing. So now I'm going to set this aside and get my big 10 frame set up. So now the bees are all going to be confused because their, their hive's gone, their entrance is gone. Oh, check out the lizard. <laughs> wonder if he's a bee eater so let's get this uh, out of the screen bottom this cover here let the lizard out so this is oriented towards the front so I'll keep it to the front now watch all those bees go in now right here So now we can put our queen in. Okay, I see her. She's right there. So that's all five frames from the original hive. And we need two more to get back to 10. And I need these bees to get in there. That's it, get their inner cover on. And we'll scrape this off. Put it in the wax collection.
Man, I was that close to catching that lizard. He got away. He was cool. Anyway, that's how you expand a hive. When you split a hive in the spring, you should be ready to expand it in about a month. So uh, this one's doing really well. And man, you saw how many laid out brood frames were in there. That queen is doing really good. So uh, it might be ready for a second deep uh, in another month. So we'll see. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video if you would. And uh, please hit subscribe and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care.